Now, later this morning, Catherine Layden will bring us up to date on her fitness journey as well as trying out a new exercise chair yoga. Instructor Sara de Miguel Hernandez is here now to tell us all about the benefits of this seated exercise. Good morning to you, Sara. How are morning. you? Lovely to see you. Um, you. So you were saying that this is, this is going to be good for Catherine, help her to get motivated. And so what are the benefits of chair yoga? There are many benefits, but particularly um, for Catherine in her situation right now where she's not able to leave the house. She mm -hmm. was telling me she has been home. So to get a lot of movement in the body, to get active, also relax the mind so for better sleep and to feel better because at the end of the day, it absolutely... So if we're sitting down, then we're not moving, but we are moving parts of our body. Yeah, we're going to need to have a chair. So if anybody at home at wants home, to join yeah. us enough room around, okay, if they want to be maybe barefoot or with uh, socks and just comfortable clothes. So okay, we'll and what on. kind of movements will we be doing? With Catherine today, it's going to be really gentle, uh, but it will be upper body uh, predominantly. Yeah. And then what are the benefits of that then? Well, for the body, we're going to be stretching. So a lot of people now that are working from home and maybe their backs, their shoulders, their lower back could be a little bit tight. So we'll stretch open the body and they'll feel a lot better after. It's all about posture as well, it's isn't it? It's about posture, yeah. Okay. Not like this, less Not open. like this, yes. Up straight, <laughs> up straight. And I'm sure Catherine's looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. It's very excited. Great. And I know you were talking to her yesterday and she is, she yeah. is, she's all set. Yeah, ready Okay, to go. look forward to seeing you a bit later on. Now, and as always, before taking on any new exercise, it's always good to consult your GP. Now she's putting a lid on the flour and giving her baking mixer a rest. Catherine Layden is stepping out of the kitchen this morning along with uh, Sara de Miguel Hernandez, founder of flowwithme.com. Uh, the pair are going to show us how easy it is to exercise in the comfort of your own home and in your own chair. Good morning, Sara, again. Good morning. And good morning, Catherine. Morning, Alan. How are you? Hi, Catherine. Great. Great. Now I'm going to talk to Sarah first, and then I'll be I'll chat to you now in a second. Sarah, we were chatting a little bit uh, earlier on, but for people who may have missed us, tell us about chair yoga and the benefits so, of it. So chair yoga is a type of yoga that was created for people that cannot go onto the mat, or for because they have maybe reduced mobility, mm. they might not be able to do yoga, but they can still benefit so much from all the good things that yoga has. So people in wheelchairs people, maybe the elderly, and lately, everybody working from home, that the posture might not be great, and spending so many hours sitting on the chair. So it's a great practice. Like, is this a good idea, even if you are spending a lot of hours at your computer at home now, in your, in your new home office, that you start to even give yourself a couple of minutes every day, just while you are sitting down, to do these exercises? Yeah, exactly, Alan. It's fantastic, because think about it, how you are sitting, at the end of the day, so many hours, and I think the Irish Heart Foundation was saying that on average is 2.4, two hours and 40 minutes extra mm. that we are spending sitting down. So if every few minutes during the day have a little bit of a break and a couple of movements, and we'll do them today, it will really help you to feel stretched, feeling energized, and at the end of the day, end the day, go home, or go stay at home. <laughs> and for anybody better. then who do, may feel that getting down on the floor is too much, even to start it yeah. with this, and yeah. build up to it then yeah. doing the floor exercises. Yeah. No matter what the flexibility or the fitness level is, everybody can do chair yoga. All you need is a chair. It's a chair, <laughs> and we all have a chair. Yes. Catherine, how are you feeling? How, how have you been getting on over the last few weeks? Oh, I'm a ton better, Alan, thanks a million. I've built up my, I'm all ready for action again now. I think you got me at the right time there a few weeks ago. I was a very low head. You were in a very low ebb and we got such a huge response and that's why we wanted to follow you because I think as we're following you, a lot of people at home are watching you and going, well, if Catherine can do it, I can Absolutely. do it. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. What, what's been the main changes for you, Catherine? Getting out more in the air, really bit of walking, exercising on my bike, and now this yoga. I had a, a, a practice run yesterday with Sarah and I must have, I've never done yoga before. I don't want to know that. But I was very relaxed after. And are you, are you feeling better in yourself then because of much all this? Better. Much better, yes, yeah. Now, I think the longer days are helping out a lot. You know, bright, bright for longer, brighter in the morning. I think that's helping as well. And you are getting out. You're trying to get out. You're walking up and down the road with Gucci and just getting yeah. that. Because you were saying, the, the, when we spoke to you originally, there was saying, you were saying that some days you didn't get out of the bed. Are you still doing that? No. Oh, God, no, I'm off the ground. I'm up now. That's, 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 that's
Okay. Now, Zara went through some of these exercises with you yesterday, and for people at home, we're going to go through. The, it's literally only about three minutes. These exercises. Yeah. So, are you ready, Catherine? We're go. We're all going to do I'm it. To, to we're yeah. all going to do it together here. So, watching Zara, off you go and talk us through okay. it. So, we're going to start by pressing the feet down onto the ground. Okay. Hands in fist. We're going to put them in between the knees, so we have hip width distance apart. Or shoulders. Roll up. Roll back and down straight away, opening the chest. We're gonna start lifting the toes as we inhale. And as we exhale, bring them down. Following the breath. And down. One last time with the toes up. And down, let's bring the heels up this time. Really notice the stretch. And down. Notice how you breathe in. Sometimes we forget to breathe, Alan. Yeah. It's so important. Well, breathe properly, yeah. We forget yes, to breathe, breathe properly. breathe properly. And those deep breaths. Deep breaths, exactly. On the next inhale, we're going to bring, hug the knee, bring it closer to the chest. Again, notice where you are today, okay? Some of you might want to lift it a little bit higher, or maybe stretch the leg. And down. Let's try on the left side, bringing the knee closer well, towards your right. chest. Follow your, <laughs> your own And one last time. Bring the foot back down. We're going to bring the hands, draw the hands to the There's shoulder level. a lot of people level. even doing that. I don't know how many, like I go for walks and stuff, but I'd never really do that kind of yeah, exercise every day. Yeah, it's a good stretch. Yeah, like a closer. stretch like yeah. that. You might then... really feel it. You can feel it. Mm. And you can make it even harder if you bring the straight, notice your abs, and yeah. it's straight as fine. I love saying, like, if you were wearing a hoodie and you're sipping the hoodie up, so straight away as you sip up, you're look at what happened, you're yeah, straightening, you're straightening and all the way down. We're going to bring the hands to our chest, closer to our chest, mm -hmm. and we're going to push forward. And following with the breath, inhaling, and right. exhaling. <laughs> and then inhale. Inhale again, and exhale. exhale. This time, we're going to leave the hands on the shoulder level. Mm -hmm. The right hand is going to stay where it is. The left hand, we're going to bring it. Give ourselves a high five. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you are twisting. And back. Let's try with the other hand. Now, even that, I'm and feeling back. the stretch in my back. Yeah. Are you doing right? Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you, Catherine? Are you feeling that stretch there? Oh, absolutely, yes. And back. Now. But not too strenuous, Catherine, no. Keep on the great. hands. It's wonderful. Like a cactus, OK? If you feel it, stretching the arms yeah. and bring them back a little bit. Oh, yeah. Big stretch. Now, we can oh, well. only do virtual yeah, hugs. I'm feeling that, Catherine, feeling as well. It? Yeah. Instead oh, of virtual yeah. hugs, yeah. let's give ourselves a big, big a hug. A big hug. We deserve a big oh, hug. Big hug. <laughs> oh, we deserve a big hug, Catherine. <laughs> Opening big again big as we inhale. Oh. And closing. Beautiful. Oh. One last time. Inhaling, opening. And on the exhale, big, big hug. We send you a lot of hugs, Catherine. Sending you a lot of hugs. <laughs> there, I mean, that is so simple, but yeah, I could feel that. And if you do that, yeah. would you do, how often would you do that a day? I would say maybe a couple of times, or if you do it during the day, yes, I do half an hour. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if you just want to do that for a couple of minutes, yeah. a couple of times a day, a day, just to get that stretch in your yeah. body. And a straight movement, the shoulders back. How are you feeling about that, Catherine? I love it. I love it, Alan. OK, well, look, keep doing it a couple of times a day. We'll catch up with you next week. Take care. Love you. Take care. Love Bye, Catherine. Bye. Thank you very Bye. much, Sarah. You're and don't welcome. forget, always, before you take any new exercise, always consult your GP. Thank you for that. Now,